everyone, Ruth Hamblin here, and welcome back to my vlog. Alright, so Christmas break is upon us, and like I said before, I did not go back home to Christmas. I instead came to Thailand. So, got here yesterday. Made it to Bangkok. Got a SIM card, got some Thai currency. Because now I get to figure out this train and try and take the train to my Airbnb, which is very far away. So, wish me luck. I'm really starting to feel that 40 degree temperature turnaround because it is hot, sweating here live on the streets of Bangkok, rolling my suitcase like a homeless person. A 15 minute walk here to my Airbnb. I don't know what's happening. There's like no sidewalk, people are honking. It's chaos. Oh, this is not going well. So I just walked all the way to my address, only to realize that Google Maps doesn't actually know where the hell my address is. And so I had to re-plug it in, and turns out it's 800 meters away which is basically as far as I walked in the first place, well, 1.2 kilometers. And as I was crossing the street, some bird pooped on me, like right on my head. <sighs> what an adventure. Merry Christmas. I think it's just hitting me that I'm like in Thailand right now. What is life? I'm pretty exhausted. It's been a very long day, so I'm just kind of relaxing. I got checked into my Airbnb, and now I'm hanging out at the rooftop pool. Check out this sunset. So beautiful. Woke up in Bangkok City this morning. It's very surreal that I'm here. Like, what the heck? I'm literally in Thailand. I had a moment yesterday. I was walking around the streets just trying to find my Airbnb. I was like, wow, I'm really alone here in Thailand. What a time to be alive. Tomorrow, I have a couple guided activities planned, but today is just all me in the city. Got to go check out some temples, hopefully find some fresh fruit markets. We've got a lot of exploring to do. So... Let's get going! On the fruit market here. I think I'm in heaven. Oh my gosh, this is literally so good. These markets are literally like a maze. I just turned off the street at one point here and then you just keep coming to like crossroads and turning and I'm still wandering around and there's clothes everywhere and I have no idea where I am. So oh, there's another turn, but I'm gonna go here because I need to go find some temples now. I've seen enough t-shirts. Made it to the first temple here. I have no idea what it's called, but we're gonna hopefully find that out. constantly. I need some food because I'm starving so surely there's gonna be some good options around here. Might try some street food if I'm feeling adventurous. Woo, wish me luck. The amount of detailing in these places is literally overwhelming. One thing I never thought would be positive about being super tall was coming here, all the super aggressive street vendors, they actually like get totally distracted on selling things and just want to comment on how tall I am and like come measure themselves up against me, which to be honest, I'll take because it makes me really uncomfortable when people try and like aggressively sell me things. It's kind of a win-win. I mean, I laugh, make a reference like, yeah, I'm tall, maybe make a short joke if I'm feeling sassy. They love it, they eat it up and they totally don't bother me. Stumbled across a beautiful little park here. Not really any itinerary or anything planned, just gonna end up where we end up and see what we see. Why did I work out this morning before this? <laughs> Tired. I 
have never been more excited than I am currently about this cup of mangoes right here. I'm in heaven. All right, finally setting down for some food here. I have a little hole in the wall place here somewhere along one of the streets that I'm wandering. Got some much needed coffee and my second pad thai and certainly not my last of this whole trip. My first random street food here. It's like fried bananas and taro. I think it's just, oh no, maybe some taro or something. I don't know. We're gonna give it a shot though. Definitely a banana. Pretty solid. Man, I'm really just wandering around back alleys out here. That looks like the temple of all temples right there. Although they all look so amazing, but wow. I think these are little boat taxis that you can cross on. All I know is I need to figure out how to cross this canal. We get to another temple. One was just across the canal. Had to take the ferry to get here. Looks for sure amazing. Got my ticket. Let's go inside. up like each layer. It's amazing. sauce on here and that's like my favorite thing in the world. Quite delicious actually. They know how to season their food here. Oh these are these are delicious too. Okay this is amazing. So I'm starting to fade here a little bit and by a little bit I mean I've hit a brick wall. I need to find somewhere with a cold bevy and air conditioning. Let's go. up 
my boat tour. Still processing if it was a scam or not, but you know what? I had a fantastic time and it felt pretty cool to just be on my own boat with my boat driver there, captain, whatever you want to call it. These buses are so loud. But anyways, just stopped here at the Grand Palace. Ooh, there's some beautiful flowers there. My mom would appreciate those. Um, I'm sure if I'm gonna go inside, but we're gonna at least peruse around, see how expensive it's gonna be. I've spent so much money at this point. The thought of spending money actually makes me sick. So we'll just, you know, we'll see. We'll see where the wind blows us. Wind hasn't been blowing me in a good direction thus far, but hopefully, you know, it can change. Back in the tuck tuck. and there's all this amazing food everywhere. And what do I buy? I got a bowl of crunchy dead bugs. I don't know what's happening to me, but we're about to try them here, so. What am I doing? I don't even know what This literally is like a locust. Okay. <laughs> You know, I just realized I'm literally Simba right now. Oh well, Akuna Matata. Slimy, yet satisfying. Crunchy. <laughs> that one was kind of juicy. I don't know whether or not if this is delicious or I want to throw off. One is for sure the worst. I can't look at it. Really not that bad. You just can't think about it. Oh, there's a cat. All right, well that wraps up part one of my adventures in Thailand. Make sure you guys stay tuned though because the footage and the stories I have from this trip are pure gold and there's so much more content coming your way real soon. So stay tuned and I'll see you then. These fried banana things are actually getting really better by the bite. There's like little sweet pieces. I don't even know what it is, but it's freaking delicious. Mm.